Hi guys. Uh, just wanted to uh, document real quickly why you don't want to use an exterminator to get rid of a beehive. Uh, it's not a real effective method for stopping the damage. Uh, you can see right here is the uh, the original entryway to a hive. It's been here several years. Uh, it just keeps coming and coming and going. They poison it out. It seems like every 16 months or so. And uh, the bees have done a pretty good job getting in and out of the uh, fascia board here uh, underneath a flat roof. It's got a built-up roof on it. And they've been living out here in the desert pretty pretty well. Uh, but the, the biggest problem that I see, and uh, we see this repeatedly after people have done exterminations, is that the, uh, the bees can no longer maintain the hive. So what happens is other uh, other critters decide to uh, take up residence in the hive primarily uh, decomposers so what we have right here now we're six feet away from that entry but what we have right here is an infestation of wax moths these are all wax moth larvae which are uh, which are eating up the comb right now as we speak and what will happen is as they tear into the honeycomb uh, if it's not already melting it starts to drip out and uh, get all over the place. Now this one has uh, this one has only been uh, exterminated this last time for four days now so we'll, we'll put the respirator on. And basically what uh, what we've been contracted to do is come out here and take down this garage ceiling. Uh, this hive extends back eight feet additional beyond the uh, four feet uh, which is under under the uh, laundry room here. This laundry area is, uh, as you can see, also totally destroyed by wax moss. And uh, I suspect that we're going to find all kinds of uh, things up there. More than likely, just wax moss and cockroaches at this point because it's been pretty pretty recent. And both of those guys do pretty well with the poisons that have been put up there to kill the bees. Doesn't seem to affect anybody else. But here you can just get an idea of what's been dripping out of the what's been dripping out of the light socket here uh, it's not good it's not pretty it's not anything you want to live with uh, but I'll uh, I'll show you what uh, that looks like as soon as I get the roof opened up and, or the ceiling open